Okay, so welcome back to some more Pikmin 3. Um, there's just a few things I want to say, actually, because, you know, I was reviewing some of the different areas. Uh, one thing that I do remember is, and I think it was uh, the Garden of Hope. Um, well, obviously, you can't see this on the, because uh, this is on the gamepad, but there's a couple of new places I can go in the Garden of Hope, actually. I don't necessarily have to rush over to find Olimar right away. There's um, a few different places, like, that had electrified gates and such that I can now access. Um, I don't know how to clear that up. So, I was thinking maybe go back there for a day or two, you know, and just open up all these electrified gates. Because there's like, there's like one, let's see, one, two, three, four electrified gates that I can now open. The other thing that I noticed is that, you know, I don't think electricity in this game is actually lethal to Pikmin anymore. If you remember in Pikmin 2... When electricity was first introduced as a hazard, it was the worst hazard in the game because it was the only one besides falling off a cliff and being eaten or killed otherwise that you could not save Pikmin from. Fire, water, and poison all would affect Pikmin over time and then kill them. You cannot save a Pikmin who was zapped in this game. It appears to be the wor the easiest of all of them. It All it does is it stuns Pikmin and then it just knocks them back. So, I think I'm going to land in the Garden of Hope. Even though they want me to go to this Twilight River and probably find the blue Pikmin, which is what I'm guessing is what they're, you know, trying to push me to do. I'm going to, uh, you know, just run around here. Of course, there's going to be more enemies, so I need to bring some rock Pikmin. In fact, it would be advantageous if I were to use this. So, okay, we have Fiery Blowhog. So, if I wanted to go over here, I'd have to bring some red Pikmin to kill this. I want to come over here. There's nothing over there. But there's something back here in the seesaw puzzle room. If you remember, there was uh, the seesaw puzzle. I could grab something, but then beyond that, I couldn't go. So I'm pretty much going to need a little bit of every type. And then split accordingly. So right off the bat, I need fire and electricity. Another one over here across this bridge. That These things require rock pikmin. I don't even think they're deadly. Okay. And again, it does that. Look. <laughs> I wonder if that's intentional or if it's the gamepad. I don't know. I still, I, I didn't, you know, Google it or anything, so I don't know. Oh, wait. So if I'm just going over here, I need fire and electricity. What? What's happening? Here we go. Fiery Blowhog. Oh, wait, no! Come back! Wait, there's more than one. I don't know where those are, too. They're probably drowning. I did not see this one. Right, this is fine. There you go. Oh, look, they're stuck down here. Where are the other two? The other two are, are what? They ended up over here. Can they reach me? Still one under the bridge. Oh, he's half drowning, half not drowning. It's weird. That was awkward. He was half drowning, half not. Alright, electrified gate. Alright, so now for her, she can just march some yellow Pikmin over here. Wait a second. Oh, there's one in my way? Well, then she's going to need rock Pikmin and then yellow Pikmin. She might need him. It might be a two-part puzzle. Oh, 
the yellow Wallywog. Oh, oops. I had the wrong type out. Yeah, he floats for a long time in this one. Yeah, have a rough landing, buddy. Crepes, this is bad. No, it isn't. All according to plan. What? He got separated. What's beyond here? Oh shit, look at this. There's like a multi puzzle right here. Push that down. The return of the paper bags. Which were not in the in the second game. They weren't. Alright, so there's fruit down there, it says. I don't like the sound I don't like the look of this. Go back to, uh, let's go back to Brittany. There you go. I don't know about this guy. I don't know what to do with him. Let's send him with Brittany. Go here. Whoops. Ah. I got toggle. What are these things? Let me go down alone first. How did I know? What the hell is it? Well, it's the return of the classic theme. Except a little remix. Oops. I won't be able to lead an entire army across. Well, they're playing that music now. Good to know they remixed it. Get it. Oh, wait a second. Oh, they're gonna pull it back that way? Okay, that's fine then. I thought they were gonna come down here and I would be like, wait a second. That would not be helpful at all if you went through the boss's arena. Alright, so I can challenge that boss later. Is that it? What's over here? Oh, those are just mushrooms. Okay. Okay. He's holding a piece of fruit, though, so eventually I will have to challenge him. So maybe I'll just leave him up here. Meanwhile, I'll also do the thing with her. This is a multi-part puzzle. All right, quite the discovery. If I only had a little more help other than Louie to get this mechanism going, I really, I really wish the boss would answer us. Just because he's the president of Hokotate Freight doesn't mean that he can be on vacation all the time. Or is that exactly what it means? So Louis is still with Alamar. Louis and Alamar are still working together. After everything Louis does, I'm actually surprised. Now hold on, this is a big puzzle, okay? It's like a long way up. I think I'm gonna need all three. Yeah, I'm gonna need all three of them. Still a long line of yellow Pikmin, it's saying? What the? Why are they coming back? Yeah, I don't get it. Why do Pikmin return and wait for orders? I, I don't like that, man. Why would they return back to that place? I don't want to come back there yet. Wait, no. What is this thing? Flukeweed. Yeah, you can't do anything to it. 
Other than that, this is a shortcut. Shortcut to the other side. Where are those two again? I have no clue where they are. Here we go. They're over here. Okay. What is he going to do? He's going to walk across the bridge. Walk all the way around. Alright, so we need to get to figuring out this... Oh my god. You want to know what it is? What it is is I usually sit back for a little bit when there's no action, and then when once the action starts, I lean forward, and that's, you know, that movement is what's triggering that. Or also, sometimes, you know, I, I'm, uh, I might free up my right hand maybe to do something, or, you know, pick something up or whatever, and when I, you know, put it back in my right hand, I think that's, you know, that's forceful enough, even though it's not, you know, a big, a big thrust or anything, it's just, you know, a light catch, that's enough to trigger the B. So, yeah, see, I just did I just did it. I just leaned forward now that I'm actually going to be focusing. Oh, that's funny. I have no clue why they would do that. Uh, uh. All right, let's throw her up. Can we throw up reds, or will we have to... Yeah, they're going to have to come up on their own from this. Oh, wait, do they? No, they don't. one weight of her. Alright, so we need one, one yellow. Oh, well, actually two. Now I need to weigh this down with a bunch of Pikmin. Well, we need two captains, though, is the question. We might, we might not. Oh shit, nope, we're too heavy. There we go. Toss them over. I gotta take them a little bit at a time because I have a hundred. It's hard to believe all that's a hundred. Yeah, I'm gonna need two captains up there. One to throw her across. So, uh, hold on. There you go. He comes up. Um... Kinda needs to have some Pikmin with him. She throws some Pikmin over here. Actually, we kinda need to have a little bit. This is a big puzzle. Oh shit! Oh. Who is I can throw Pikmin directly over there? Ooh! Whoa, she almost fell. What's the weight on the other one? Okay! I think we're done here then.